Hello and welcome to another Game Guru demonstration. This time I'm going to show you how to use or create hoods to replace the standard Game Guru one. It's only going to be basic, but it's up to your art skills where you go with the hood. But um, this will just show you the, the very, very basics. So I'll get cracking, I'll, I'll run it and show you what it's like. Right, so we're in. Um, now, quickly before I go into the actual hood, uh, I'll just show you how I've got it running so lickety smooth. Uh, see, oh, 100 plus frames a second there. Um, we're getting pretty much 90, 80, 90. And so I've got it, I've still, I'm still using my Q6600 CPU, so it's, it's very old, it's not the fastest. It's not the worst either, by any means, it's, it's not a bad processor for its age. Um, but it is getting on there, and it does slow down a lot of games. You can see, you can still get some decent speed with a smallish map. It's not massive. I mean, it's, it's just a little sort of Half-Life size map. Half-Life 2, I would imagine. Something like that. Anyway, so you can see, uh, if, if Game Guru could actually load at speed, um, and you could make all your maps small and keep loading in between, like Half-Life 2, you could actually have something that ran quite nice and be quite a... Uh, you know, good quality, but I digress. I'll move back a bit just in case you notice me. I doubt it. Um, just to get this sort of speed up, simplest way: lower your camera distance to as far as you can get away with. Um, lower your terrain shader, turn your water off. Um, you know that sort of thing. And I've actually turned the terrain off entirely in this. So if I press F11 again, you'll see terrain and water in capitals. That means that they're, they're pretty much disabled. And that gives you some decent um, speed increase. There's, there's not a massive amount you can do beyond that. You can have billboards and things like that. You know, I could make this city look a lot more like a city, so there's a lot more in the background. And you wouldn't lose too much speed. But I'm digressing. So, that was just a little quick tip on getting speed up in your games but other than that we want to get and shut the hood don't we I'm forgetting there right so let's actually turn off that altogether now there's no hood on at all at the moment you can see that's because I've done it so you've got to press the tilt key to get it up at the minute just so you can see how you could do that you know if you wanted a some sort of different statistics thing that you could switch on and off at will just to check up on things like inventory or whatever but um yeah, you know, let's turn it on. So if I go up to him, he'll start shooting me and kill me off. I assume. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take one of them out. Chase me. Why are they so? I mean, I suppose he's getting off a hit on me. Oh, he's coming. He is coming for now. Come on, that's that. Right. So that'll kill me off easy enough and you'll see it, it works fine when you reboot. Come on. There we go. Health's back. That was a good one. I'm hoping that the uh, sound isn't completely overpowered by Game Guru and I've got a good feeling it will be. Um, right, so how to do it how to do it. So let's minimise this. This is my script. Not too bad. It's nice and simple. So in the init, because you always have an init generally with most of your scripts, um, you set up, you turn off the hoods. So that gets rid of the game guru hoods. You set a couple of variables that are going to be used later on. Uh, and you load up the image for the health bar. Whatever image you've got. But there you go, that's what I'm using. Um, it's not a default thing I've made it myself. I've made the uh, the directories and stuff, but basically always use your script bank folder and images folder to put things in. Just makes it easier and uh, it, it'll stop Ganguru having issues when making standalones to copy your images and things. Uh, right, so get player distance is not needed. Uh, it's just a, a reminder from a very, I think the MR script or whatever I used to to start it off. So I always just open a script, delete everything, and then get going just to save me typing in a few of the simple things like function blah 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 um, right so if respawn equals zero uh, it'll 
set it to one and then it'll find your health out and set it to initial health this will make sure that whatever health you've set it to whether it be the default 100 or you've set it to as i have in this a thousand um, it'll find out what your health is and set your, your you know initial health accordingly so it can work it out properly um obviously respawn does equal zero at the start so that's how it's supposed to be and it'll just basically set that once it'll never set it again until you die um then that's where you're pressing the tool key if you press the tool key and the hood's not set up and key check hasn't been pressed uh, then it'll set the hoods up it'll enable it it'll tell you'll set it so that it has been pressed it's just basically a flag um, and then you create the sprite um, using cursor image which is where I've loaded cursor image there that image up I'll create the sprite and then obviously when it's equal in one it'll do this it'll put the text up um, and it'll put the sprite and set the size of the sprite now you see I've got G player health divided by 10 that's to make um, it's a hundred instead of a thousand but if you use 200 and you wanted it to be 100 you just do divide it by two so you can just change that to however you want to get it working um set sprite size is scaling it so it shrinks down as you get shot so it's using the g player health value which will get go down as you shot and it's dividing that by the initial health divided by 10 because of the thousand and blah blah same as just it's just repeating the same as what i've done it all the way through the code um and that'll basically scale your sprites down as you shot. Um, again, if you're pressing the tool key uh, and the hood's enabled and you haven't pressed the key, because obviously if you if you have, if you don't have this key check, it'll just fly through it, enabling, disabling as you hit the key, and it'll be very difficult to actually get it on because it's really quick. Obviously, as you can imagine, it's running through this car thousands and thousands, or probably more than that per second. Um, so that just enables that to stop the key check just stops it from repeating um and then so yeah if you press it again deletes the sprite turns the hood off and make sure that it knows you've pressed the key and this is just a little bit of code that checks for the key and resets it if you're not pressing the key because so that's what that checks for there uh, and that's just a bit of text that i use to set it up find the scan codes and mouse positions well, that, that's you know I don't, don't think I actually use the mouse X mouse Y. It's pretty uh, pretty easy to work out without it generally. So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much how it's done. Uh, and I'll possibly put the script up on the uh, the store, not the store, <laughs> the the site, Game Guru's site. So yeah, there you go. And now this, of course, only works with the tilt key. So you've got to press the tilt key to turn it on and off. If you didn't want that. Obviously, you can just get rid of uh, the key check things. So rem that out. Uh, just rem all this out. Uh, don't need any of this because you're never going to turn it off. Of course, you might want it somewhere when you exit. So make sure you're deleting your sprites for memory reasons. Um, mm -mm -mm. Right now, just puts if hood equals zero in there, just to make sure it doesn't keep making this sprite because it will do if you just leave that out. I think that should do it. Um, save that. And try it out. Yep, health is up. I'll just make sure it works. I hope it works. I won't shoot anymore. Come on. So you can come after me. You coming after me? Yeah, he's still coming after me. Come on. Get the fucking fight. I'm being slaughtered on this one. You see the health's a lot better. When you increase it like that, it just... You don't get that red bully, you know, like, for like most of the time you're alive when you set it like this. I should have put some health kits in. Put a health kit in. Uh, have I got a health kit? I haven't. Collectibles, where are you? There we 
go. Just to double check, can't see any reason why it won't work. But when you haven't tested it, you need to test these things, I suppose. But it, I've only done it just to show how, it, how it's done. I've never got to the point where I've needed to make a hood <laughs> in my games. It's like, yeah, I'm, 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 it's struggling. I'm not happy with it. So there's no point going to all that work. I know I can do it, so it doesn't matter. I don't have to worry about getting it done beforehand. There we go. I've gone to 115. Of course, I could put a little um, bit of code in to stop it being able to go above 100. If I wanted, but I ain't too worried at the moment. Oh, bit of a floaty one there. And there is a little bit of a pain for that. Yeah, that's working anyway. So, until next time, I'll catch you later.